Arnold Palmer stated that success in golf depends less on strength of the body and more on that of the mind and character. Over her five years on the grounds of the University of Virginia, Lauren Coughlin has found truth in this maxim. The senior received her degree last May in psychology and is currently pursuing a master's in athletic administration, a program that affords her the opportunity to work in the Virginia Football Operations Office. While her schedule may be full, her experiences have honed the focus that has her career on an upward trajectory. I love football and I was always the girl like growing up playing football with like the boys and re during recess. That's kind of why I got into it, but I didn't really know what operation, like football operations was like. So I've learned a lot since I've been there. I had no idea what went into running day-to-day -day operations of a, of a Division I football program. So I've learned a lot. It's definitely very, very helpful for what I want to do in the future. She fit very well in the mold of a University of Virginia student athlete. Knowing that she had the grades and that she could uh, go to a five-year program and get her master's, it was just a perfect fit. She could also use the resources that we have here, getting a great education, walking away with a master's, working in the football office, just all of those things, A, that she enjoys, B, that she's good at, and she fully took advantage of all of that. The golf game progressively got better as now she's a top player in the country. My time management skills had to be crazy between doing golf, doing my school, and doing my, the internship and doing them all well. It takes a lot of effort and so that definitely translated into me doing well in the internship. And my coach always tells us do 100% in whatever you're doing. So basically if I'm at practice, I'm 100% into golf at that moment. Um, if I'm studying, I'm 100% into studying. And if I'm at my internship, I'm 100% in my, at my internship. She has the goals that she wants to walk away with her master. She wants to, to have the experience to work in the football office. And she wants to potentially be an All-American. Her time management is phenomenal. We come up each day with a practice plan for her, and it'll be a two and a half to three hour practice plan. She follows it, she is diligent with it. You don't see her do a lot of chit-chatting. You see her get to her business, get to her drills, and get it done. So I think by putting her attention and her focus in the right place at the right time has allowed her to reach all of her goals. Coughlin's development has led to both great individual and team games. The all-conference performer helped the Cavaliers capture the program's first ACC title in 2015, and she's followed that up with five top ten finishes in eight tournaments this year. I've always been a really good ball striker. I hit a lot of greens, but I didn't make a lot of birdies. So I've started putting a lot better. My mental game, I think, has improved a lot as well. I've matured. A lot of the courses I know pretty well since it's my, my fifth year, so I've played them three or four times. So my course management has gotten a lot better. A lot of like intangible things, not really so much just like my swing or anything like that. But I think just the maturity of being a fifth year, I think, helped me a lot too. It's amazing to watch her grow as, as an athlete. She came in as a good player, took advantage of everything that we have here at Virginia, and really got her scoring average down. The last two years, I think competing, being a starter at every single tournament, being to postseason plays, winning the ACC championship last year, all of those things fuel her and motivate her to even work harder and to get better, and she's done it. Impressive athletic accolades aside, Coughlin has made the most of her time in Charlottesville. She's the consummate student athlete. She's going to leave a legacy here of reaching all the goals that she's wanted to. She's been successful in the classroom and on the course. She came in with a plan and she fulfilled that plan and is going to walk away from a successful student athlete. And I think that's um, my goal for all of them and she's definitely uh, reached that. The people and then the atmosphere of Charlottesville and then grounds and the UVA community is second to none. Hopefully if I end up getting a coaching job or working within an athletic department, I would hope to eventually end up back here if I could. Like I said, I love the university and I love being a Virginia Cavalier.